Hi friends, so welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity, diabetic patient healthcare IoT solution. Coming to the scenario, John Doe is a 55-year-old type 1 diabetic who lives alone. John has trouble keeping his glucose within a healthy range. He and his healthcare provider have decided to implement an IoT solution to continuously monitor important indicators of his condition and send help if necessary. John will wear a smartwatch to monitor his respiration and exercise level. He will also use a continuous glucose monitor CGM that will report his glucose levels. The data from these devices will be sent to his health monitoring company, which will send medical assistance should his condition become life-threatening. Now we will come to part 1. Configure devices for connectivity. We will configure John's router to use DHCP to assign IP addresses to his IP-enabled devices in his home. So click John's home. Here we can see uh, John's home. We will click on uh, John's home. And here we can see the details. Then click the home gateway router. Then click the GUI tab. Then under the network setup heading, assign 192.168.0.1 to the router IP. Then choose 255.255.255.0 for the subnet mask. Coming to our topology, here we can see home gateway. We will click on this home gateway. So here we can see GUI. And uh, here we can see network setup. So here we will give uh, the router IP, IP address as specified 192.168.0.1. And here we will select the submit to mask. It's a 255.255.255.0. Next here we can see click enabled next to DHCP server to start the DHCP server. Then click save settings to save the uh, changes. Right. So here we can see DHCP server settings. So we will enable it. And here we can see the details uh, for this DHCP server. Start IP address uh, from 1.100 and the maximum number of users 50. So we leave uh, uh, this uh, default values here. And uh, coming here we can see save settings. Now we will come to part 2. Explore all the IoT devices. Step 1. View Jones Vital on an MPTC tablet. The medical staff in the Mobile Patient Treatment Center MPTC, can monitor John's level while they are traveling to John's home. The medical staff can also receive an unlock code to enter John's house if he is not responsive. Coming to A. Open one of the tablets in the MPTC. Right, so we will go back uh, from this uh, John's home and here we can see MPTC and here we can see MPTC tablet 2, MPTC tablet 1. Coming to B, uh, click the HC mobile monitoring web application tab to view John's vitals. Before that we will go to MPTC tablet 1. And here we can see that tab HC mobile monitoring web application and we will go to this tab and here we can see the details. Cisco healthcare mobile monitoring web application. Here we can see patient details and here we can see patient status. It's normal and here we can see glucose level, respiratory rate and exercise level. Coming to step 2. View John's vitals on his tablet and television. John can also monitor his vitals on his devices, a smartphone, smartwatch, tablet and his television. So open the tablet in John's home. So we will come back and we will go to John's home. Here we can see John's tablet. We will click on this tablet. 
coming to B, uh, click the HC mobile monitoring web application tab to monitor his vitals. So here we can see that tab HC mobile monitoring web application and here we can see the details. So patient status, uh, normal, glucose level, respiratory rate, exercise level, etc. Right. So open the smart TV in uh, John's home. So here we can see uh, John's smart TV. We will click on that. Then uh, click the HC mobile monitoring web application tab to monitor his vitals. So here we can see that tab. We will click on that. Here also we can see the status. Now we will come to part 3. Create an event that requires a response. We will trigger an event that will cause John to require medical attention. Step 1. Explore the environment window. In the environment window, uh, we can influence John's glucose level. When John's glucose level is no longer in his normal range, the HMC will send John alert on his connected devices to prompt him to call them so that they can assess his condition and send medical help if necessary. So here in this packet tracer activity, we can see one more window that is the environment. So here we can see condition controller dashboard. Use the buttons below uh, to influence uh, John's condition. On the dashboard in the environment window, you can induce hypoglycemia, hyperglycemia or restore his glucose level back to a normal range. So here we can see uh, those details. Induce hypoglycemia, induce uh, hyperglycemia, speed up time 15 times or restore uh, John's normal levels. They given a note here. The levels used to simulate this event are based on John's historical data. Analytics have determined that the pattern and the levels reported have led to diabetic coma or emergency room visits for John in the past. These levels do not necessarily signify dangerous levels for all diabetic patients. Coming to step 2, induce hyperglycemia. John has finished a big meal at his family or reunion at his house. He has neglected to take his insulin while he is engaged with his family. A. Navigate to the HC Mobile Monitoring Web Application tab on his tablet to monitor his glucose levels. Here we can see John's tablet. We will click on this device and coming to this tab HC Mobile Monitoring Web Application. And here we can see the details. So here a uh, patient status is normal. Here we can see glucose level. Also we can see other uh, details. So it's everything normal. Coming to B. Navigate to the wearable watch with sensors tab on his uh, smartwatch to monitor his uh, glucose level. So we will go to his uh, smartwatch. Here we can see that. We'll click on that. And here we'll go to this tab wearable watch with sensors. And here we can see the details. Respiration rate and exercise level. Now we will come to C. In the environment window, click induce hyperglycemia to increase his blood sugar level simulating a hyperglycemic uh, event. Right, so coming to our environment and here we can see induce hyperglycemia. We will click on this button. Coming to D, observe the alerts on John's smartwatch and tablet. So coming to our uh, tablet, here we can see the details. Patient status, insulin injection advised. And here we can see a warning. Glucose level is very high. Coming to smartwatch, here also we can see a warning. Glucose level is very high. Contact your health provider immediately. Failure to response will dispatch MPTC. What actions should John take at this time? So here they mentioned the insulin injection advised. 
also here we can see the warning uh, glucose level is very high contact your health provider immediately next is uh, how long will it take before help is sent so coming to our uh, john's tablet here we can see uh, sending help in uh, 12 minutes so here we can see the details Next is ignore the warning. What happens when he does not respond? Uh, obviously, uh, here we can see uh, failure to respond so will dispatch MPTC. So restore uh, John's vitals back to normal levels. So for that, we will click here restore John's normal levels. Now we will go to uh, step 3, induce hypoglycemia. John skipped his dinner and fell asleep while he was watching television. John's glucose level has dropped to a dangerous level. Coming to A, navigate to the HC mobile monitoring web application tab on his smartphone to monitor his vitals. Right, so coming to uh, smartphones. And here we can see HSC mobile monitoring web application. Right. Coming to B. In the environment window, click induce hypoglycemia to decrease his blood sugar level, simulating a hypoglycemic event. Coming to our environment, here we can see the button induce hypoglycemia. We will uh, click on this button. And here we can see our smartphone. Coming to C, observe the alerts on all his devices and on the MPTC tablet. Here we can see John's smartphone. Uh, so here it shows a warning, patient status, sugar ingestion advised. Warning, glucose level is very low. Contact your health provider immediately. Failure to response will dispatch MPTC. Coming to MPTC a tablet. Here is MPTC. Coming to MPTC tablet. HC mobile monitoring web application and here we can see the warning. Patient status. And here we can see the patient details sugar ingestion advised so if john does not take the necessary steps to return his glucose level back to his normal range john will receive an alert from the hmc to call them so that they can assess his condition if john does not respond to the alert the mptc will be dispatched to his location uh, to administer medical assistance Notice the alerts on the MPTC tablet. We uh, seen that. Uh, what happens when the MPTC is dispatched? So once the MPTC is dispatched, uh, they will uh, connect to uh, traffic light controllers. Next is how long will it take the MPTC to arrive? Right here we can see that uh, sending help in 4 minutes. Next is uh, what happens when the MPTC arrives? Yes, obviously when this MPTC arrives at home, uh, they will uh, uh, unlock the door. Coming to D, restore John's vitals back to normal levels. So here we are going to click on this, so restore John's normal levels. So patient status, it's normal. Well, in this video, we have seen the packet tracer activity, diabetic patient, healthcare, IoT solution. Friends, if you have any doubt in this packet tracer activity, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb and share with your friends. We will have many number of technical videos in future. So consider subscribing. Stay tuned. Thank you.